Hi, I'm Kevin Wheeler. Uh, I run the Future of Talent Institute, and I do consulting on leadership, recruitment, uh, talent uh, management for companies uh, globally. Uh, and I guess we're here today to talk about 21st century leadership. Is that right, Jay? That's it. Yeah. And uh, you want me just to expose, or do you have some yeah, questions? Yeah, start, start out. What, what's the big picture, Kevin? Or how do you see the world? I mean, well, I think I think we're we're in a really interesting uh, transitional time for leadership, and I think uh, all the leadership that we've been taught uh, over the last for several decades has been what I loosely characterize as 20th century leadership, which was designed for a relatively predictable. Uh, environment. It was designed for relatively homogeneous uh, customer bases and uh, fundamentally a, a non-global world. Um, so we're looking at leadership, whether it's French or American or Chinese or whatever. The leadership was really designed for that particular culture and environment. Uh, it tended to be pretty analytical or mechanistic, uh, and it tended to be based basically on the belief that the world is a pretty um, predictable, rational place. And I think we know as we've moved into the 21st century uh, that none of, none of that's really true. That we live in a very uh, diverse, uh, unpredictable, rapidly changing world. And I think leadership is struggling to figure out how to be more effective, uh, how to really, uh, bring forward change and deal with change in an effective way. And the struggle is non-trivial. It's a big deal. And we continue to turn out analytical MBAs who are very good at analyzing the past. They're really good at looking in the rearview mirror and saying that if we sold this last year, we should sell this this year. Uh, but they're really not very good at looking at markets that suddenly shift direction. They're not very good at suddenly um, turning on a dime, let's say, to go in some different direction. They're not good at recognizing emerging trends or patterns and then figuring out how to deal with those emerging patterns or trends. Um, and those are all things that are almost contrary to the competencies of an analytical leader.